Well, Mr. Becca, welcome back. So you started chiropractic care a long time ago, actually not with me, with a mentor of mine, Dr. Yes. Larry Landers. So you started coming to see him because of a couple of really bad car accidents. Is that correct? Correct. So tell me what happened I mean, as far as how bad you were hurt and what you were experiencing, you know, the symptoms and the pain. So after the two car accidents, one was a rear end collision, which really impacted my neck. And then I had a head on collision um, and a closed head injury. Um, I went through traditional medicine, lots of drugs for my head, uh, lots of pain meds. I went through physical therapy and I just wasn't getting relief. Um, when I went to see your predecessor, uh, I actually walked into his office with crutches and he said, why are you on crutches? And I said, well, they're treating my head injury, but I need surgery on both my knees. He said, I don't think that's right. He said, I think if you had a head on collision, you hit your knees on the dash and it went, the shock went up your thighs and hit your lower back. So he adjusted my lower back. I ended up walking out of his office carrying my crutches. Nice. Never had surgery. Uh, I was sold at that point, but I began to realize the reason I wasn't recovering from my head injury is because the blood flow to my brain was being impeded. So his chiropractic adjustments not only aligned my spine, but it gave me my cognitive skills back, which I was off work for several years because I had no short-term memory and I did not have any analytical capabilities and I was an analyst. So um, I stayed with him for years uh, when he retired. I, I came to see you. And I know through the years that if I don't see you, I go back into pain, um, the blood flow doesn't work for my head. And uh, I know uh, several years ago, I got to a point, because I stopped seeing you, I got to the point I couldn't turn my head either way. So I know that for me, chiropractic care is critical. And so um, this is a lifelong deal for me with you. Yeah. So when the, the car accident, because I started taking care of you like 16 years ago and you were with the other doctor prior to that. So those injuries that you got you know, are still there. So that's the things that get bad over time and we take care of all on our maintenance visits. So uh, we're gonna check you today to make sure we can find what, if you do have any nerve pressure and we're gonna take care of that, okay? Okay. So, Miss Rebecca had a pretty bad injury here and on her x-ray, on her neck, the neck should have a nice forwards curve, which she's got some of that, but the disc space in between the bones should be nice, thick and level. Really just like these, these are all pretty discs right here. This one looks quite a bit different. You'll see that the disc is very thin and the bones should all line up. If you draw a line down the back of the, the vertebra, they should all line up. If you can look, see how much further backwards this one is than that one. This one's sitting extremely far back, putting a lot of pressure on the nerves that exit the spine at that level. And that's a chronic injury that she's had and she'll always have weakness there that has to be maintained. And that's one of the main reasons why she comes back. She has other problems in other parts of her spine that we maintain as well. Uh, she has a, a lower back issues, but as you can see her spine here, your spine should be perfectly straight. And if you can look, you'll see subtle places where it kind of kinks off to an angle and it comes back to straight, kinks again and goes on up. Any place we see the kinks like that is obvious damage. Now that doesn't mean we adjust it. It just means those are places where the spine has been injured. It's potentially in areas that can have nerve pressure. So in the Gonstead work, we evaluate the whole spine to see if she has any nerve pressure. And when she does, we specifically adjust the spine to remove the nerve pressure. So let's take a look and see what she's got today. We'll start running our meter here. See how her neck's doing. Look down just a little bit. Kind of at the base, it feels like it's at the base of my skull. Yeah, that's pretty common. Anytime you get pretty much any irritation through this region and get muscle spasms of the in the region, especially the traps, they all attach at the base of the skull. So when people come in, it's very common to feel like they got pressure at the base of the skull. And it's very possible that people have a problem at the base of the skull as well. But in my experience, a lot of times it's other places so that's why in the gun we will check people. She's got a lot of pressure there. Big deflection. All right, there. One of the big mistakes we see when people come from other places is that if they had neck pain, 
they only had their neck checked. The, the doctor only treated the area where they had pain, but it may not even be there. It may be a compensation from other spots. Dr. Gan said, used to always say, you gotta find it, accept it where you find it, fix it, and then leave it alone. But accept it where you find it, basically meant that just because it hurts one place, the problem may be in another. Too bad. You must have been behaving, huh? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> That's a full time job. <laughs> you might have a small one there. So we'll feel the spine. When somebody's under good maintenance care, when they come in for their maintenance visits, you don't get as much of the big massive swelling changes that you'll see in somebody who's just starting care. New patients typically, especially when they've never been to chiropractors, it's not uncommon to find big old patches of swelling and redness and stuff. With good patients like her, it's all going to be subtle. We're just kind of fine tuning the spine, keeping any little like this feeling for swelling down here. Let's rock back and forth to see how everything's moving. Lean forward just a little bit for me. Okay. That was a tender one down there. There's our fifth lumbar. Six. Six thoracic. Let's check this here. Rock back and forth with me. Just seeing how everything's moving. Subluxations are always fixated, meaning they're not moving the way they should. They've lost normal motion. Back. Oh, sorry. She's flinching because that's tender. That's that real bad one she's got. Okay. We'll, we'll typically do that last because it helps working on that lower stuff makes her more relaxed by the time we get up there. Nice bend this line. Easy there. Oh, coming up. All right. Little bitty one tucks up underneath here. Check that lower one as well. Back and forth. Nearly a new woman. All right. Well, that should take care of you for a little while. Awesome. Awesome. This gentleman is my primary physician. He's my first course of action. Um, he has taken such wonderful care of me. You won't get just good chiropractic care. You're going to work with a wonderfully uh, authentic uh, and ethical man. I cannot, there are not enough words to say how thankful I am for you. I appreciate you. Thank you.